All right, cold showers. Why did I decide to do cold showers? Bingo, Wim Hof. Well, actually, that's how I found out. The reason that I decided to start doing it was because of all the immune system benefits. For about four or five years of my life, I would get this just terrible sort of swelling in my tonsils and just, you know, it felt like I was getting sick twice a year at least and like really sick. So I felt like my immune system needed a little bit of a boost. I started actually first by reading Wim Hof's book because in that book he talks about, you know, the best way to approach cold showers. So I started with just 15 seconds at the end of my hot shower. First of all, when I found out that a cold shower doesn't mean a full shower of cold water, I was like, okay, well then I'm doing this for sure. That's like way easier than I imagined. So I started with 15 seconds. One week later, I ramped it up to 30 seconds. A week after that, I did one minute. And then a week after that, a minute and a half. And a week after that, I went up to two minutes, which is where he caps it for some reason. And nowadays I do about a minute, a minute and a half. And another note is that I only do this for my first shower of the day. So if I'm taking two showers that day, I'm not doing two cold showers. I wanna start my day making a hard choice, but I don't wanna fill my day with them. The process of going up incrementally is actually much easier than I expected. But again, this is from me who, before I read his book, I thought I was gonna to have to take an eight, 10, 12 minute long cold shower. So what changes have I noticed? I will say that it's all very subtle. I've also been doing a lot of different things like meditation and different kinds of therapy. And so a lot of these changes maybe or maybe not can be attributed to other things. But these are just things that I've noticed since I started taking cold showers. The first thing is that I have more energy and I don't mean like for the rest of the day. I just mean I wake up drowsy and just confused and then, and then I take my cold shower and it's like I'm, I'm awake. I feel more at peace and I attribute this to the fact that I'm making a difficult decision first thing when I wake up. And so I immediately, you know, it just alleviates a little bit of pressure. I have more clarity because there's not this nagging voice in my head that's like, you know, when are we going to do something challenging? When are we going to... I've already shocked my system. So my body and my mind is just kind of like, whew, all right. Now we can kind of take it easy for a little bit. Along with that, there is less reactivity. I'm not bothered by things as much as I used to be. So just small little wins like that. Another thing I noticed is that after a while, it does sort of become second nature. I'm not going to lie to you. I still don't like doing it, but it is just something now where I'm sort of conditioned to do it. All of the buildup in my mind, that's all gone. It's just like, all right. It's time to go. And perhaps the biggest change, and that is that I've only been immunocompromised once in the last two and a half years. And it was mild, and it only lasted about two days. You took cold showers and you're not immunocompromised. What's the link? Basically, it boils down to, again, just working your immune system so that it is used to dealing with something that isn't just fucking coasting read the book, Google the benefits of cold water, cold showers, if you want to learn more. I'm not an expert on it. Final takeaway, it's not a magic pill. All of these changes have been very subtle. That being said, this is definitely something that I feel at least for a couple minutes right after the cold shower. I can feel that it did something. It's like, it's like there's more electricity in my body or something. There's just more, I feel more clear headed and, and more at peace and, and just calm. None of these things are measurable or tangible. They're just my personal experience. So thank you for allowing me to share a part of that story with you. I hope that it helps you or touches you in some way. If there's anything that you're dealing with at the moment or anything you're going through or struggling with, leave a comment below. I might have some experience with it or I may have learned about it from someone else and uh, maybe I can make my next video about that. I'd love to hear about it. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of your week.